So I am on my travels again and I've come somewhere I have been dying to come. San Francisco. I don't normally seem to suffer from jet lag, but definitely today I've had it really bad. I've been up since 4 a.m. so I've got up early and I'm off in exploring mode, off in search of coffee, and I'm currently in the Castro having a little wander around. So this shop behind me, the Human Rights Campaign, that used to be Harvey Milk's camera shop and he used to live in the flat above. Um, Harvey Milk was the, one of the first openly gay people to be elected to public office in America and sadly he was assassinated in the late 70s um, and he's become a massive icon to gay rights. If you don't know his story, I would say please go and have a look at the film Milk or do some reading because he's massively important. So the one thing that I knew but didn't seem to take in like properly is quite how hilly this place is. So you'll be walking along and then BAM! Huge hill. And they all seem to be the way I want to go, which just means my legs will have a massive workout while I'm here. I have been here in San Francisco for less than 24 hours and I think I'm already falling in love. It is unbelievably colourful, people seem so friendly, everyone has dogs and I'm in love with them all and it's just so damn pretty. So I have just wandered slightly further down into the mission area and I'm in the gorgeous Dolores Park. It's still early so there's people still doing yoga classes and there's mist all over the floor. So I am now in the Mission District, which is a traditionally uh, Mexican area, but it's also got tons of great sweet stuff. So there's dandelion chocolate, it's where Tartine originally was, and I'm currently on my way to um, Crafts and Wolves to try their famous Rebel Within, which is a muffin with a softball egg right in the middle. So I have really bad jet lag, again. So I am up early and I'm seeing San Francisco at its most magical when the light is just beautiful. I mean, <laughs> come on. I mean, you, you should, can't get more beautiful than that. Something you should know about me is that I am all about a view. Give me a hotel, a bar, a restaurant. It's got a view, I will go. So that made me so happy. Anyway, the other benefit to being early is getting to bakeries before the queues get massive. So I'm off to one of San Francisco's most Instagrammed, tweeted about bakeries, Mr. Holmes Big House, off in search of Croffins. So right now I am in the residential area, very pretty residential area, uh, Noe Valley, and I'm on my way to Omnivore Books, which is a beautiful cookbook shop, and I'm off to do an impromptu book signing. So if you are in the Bay Area and you fancy one of my books, then they will have a few. So after a morning of pastries, I am and I'm in search of chocolate I'm heading to Dandelion Chocolate and then I think it's time for a mission of burrito and some ice cream because it's still boiling. So 
So that was Tarty. Was it good? Yeah. I have waited years to go there and it was incredible. I may, may have over-ordered. Um, so I have a couple of leftover things, but I'm actually now headed to have breakfast number two at Tartine number two. So about a month ago, they opened the Tartine Manufactory, which is huge compared to the original location, which is a very small, unassuming bakery. This place is massive. So I cannot wait to go and have a look and see what they're doing. I'm literally not sure how much more I can eat this morning. It's 8.30 and I'm already full. But I'll give it my best shot. So for the first couple of nights I've been here, I've been staying in an Airbnb up in Noe Valley, which is a residential district up near the Castro. Um, and after a couple of nights on an Airbnb, in an Airbnb, on a really hard futon mattress, I'm very excited to be checking into my hotel, which is Le Meridian in the financial district, which is just a two minute walk, a couple of blocks from um, the ferry plaza, so right by the water. Um, and it's a big, tall hotel, so I'm hoping I get a view. So when I'm staying in a hotel, there's a couple of little things that make me feel a little bit more special. And they're kind of silly things, but uh, they just make me feel a bit more relaxed. So one of those is a big fluffy white robe. Just because I don't have them at home, it just makes me feel a little bit more chilled out and luxurious. And then, goes along with it, at least once I like breakfast in bed in the hotel and just chill out for a couple of hours and just relax and enjoy the space. I've just got to my room and I'm going to give you a little tour because it's very special. So, this is my bathroom and it's pretty damn huge. Big, big shower, which is lovely. But then, this is where the magic really happens. I've got this huge, beautiful room. It has a map of San Francisco on the back of the wall. And I have to do some work tonight, so this will be much appreciated. But then, the best thing about this hotel room is what's outside. Because look at this view. You've got the Transamerica Pyramid. Then over in the background there is Coit Tower. And then if you pan all the way around, you can even see, just in the background, is one of the bridges. I love views, so this is very special for me. History might be one of my favourite spots so far. That chocolate Queen of Man was bloody lovely. One of the best Queen of Man's I've ever, ever had. It's not in my favourite neighbourhood, but it's so worth checking out. So you might think that would be my last sweet spot of the day, but you'd be wrong. And I would hope you know me better by now. I am off in search of ice cream and we're headed to the famous Byright Creamery. So today has been an amazing day for food. Tartine, go. Beef patisserie, go. Byright Creamery, go. I think today has been my favorite day so far and it's just incredible. Um, I have to work tonight, so I'm gonna stay in my room. I may order some room service, um, but I am gonna crash. Last night I had the best night's sleep. I feel like I've slept for days and I get to wake up to this view. So, I don't know if you can see, but the fog is still quite heavy. In the background, you can just see the base of the Coit Tower, and it's rolling over the hills, and then, if I pan around to the bridge, you can see the sunrise. Just beautiful. So after all the running around I've done the last few days, I've decided to have a slightly lazy morning. So I'm having breakfast in bed, which is my favorite luxury in a hotel. Um, I've already eaten most of it, so nothing left to show you. Um, but I'm also reading, or rereading um, Tales of the City, which was the whole reason I originally wanted to come to San Francisco. I think I read it when I was about 18, and it's still one of my favorite books. Um, but, 
I'm getting a tour of the city today from a friend of mine, so um, completely in someone else's hands and I have no idea what I'm doing. So my outfit of the day, this shirt is, wait, you don't want me to talk about my clothes. You want me to get back to talking about baking. Okay, we can do that. Day, which means I've obviously had to come to Golden Gate Bridge. One of the things that nobody seems to tell you about the bridge is it's so loud for all the traffic, and obviously it gets freezing cold. <laughs> So it's a really steep climb down to the beach, down these stairs, but thankfully they are here because otherwise it would be a sheer drop down these cliffs. Actually I'm not going to uh, Baker Beach, I'm going to Marshall Beach, which is a much smaller beach near the bridge, but it's less well known, and also happens to be a nudist beach. Now, I'm definitely not stripping off, so don't worry, you don't have to stop watching. Um, but let's not hope I uh, stumble across anybody. So I'm already about halfway down, already the view is just incredible. And it's way better than actually the other side of the bridge, the touristy bit, so it's not a difficult walk. I have made it to Marshall Beach and I have the whole place to myself and the view, well, I mean, it's just incredible. It's not that hard of a walk down. I think it's gonna be a much harder walk back up, obviously, because it's quite a way to be up, but I think it's so worth it. It is gorgeous and I have the whole place to myself. There isn't a single here, it's amazing and gorgeous. So just as visiting San Francisco, I could not go to the Golden Gate Bridge. I couldn't come to San Francisco and not try my first in and out burger. So today was my more touristy day. I did uh, the cable car, I went to Fishman's Wharf, only for in and out though, and then I went to the bridge, and I have to say, the bridge is as incredible as everybody says. Go to Marshall Beach if you can, or Baker Beach if you want to start an easy walk. The views from the beach are just incredible. Um, and then I randomly met up with a friend who's in town for cocktails, which was awesome. Um, tomorrow's my last full day, and I'm starting at 7 in the morning with a meeting, so I'm going to go to bed and get some well-deserved, needed sleep. Good night.
So today is my last day in San Francisco. Um, I'm all packed. I don't want to leave. I want to stay in this city forever. Um, I've completely fallen in love with this place. And I'm definitely, definitely going to miss this view. I have loved staying here. But I'm not flying until nine, so um, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go to the farmer's market and I'm just gonna have a good old mooch and just a relaxed wander around the city today. That is the end of my trip. I am just walking through Castro one last time before I head to pick up my bags and head to the airport. I have loved this trip. I've fallen in love with San Francisco and I've decided that one day I would quite like to live here. So let's see if I can make that happen. But until next time, see you back in the kitchen.